Um, we can get away with being really dirty if we're also really sort of sincere and sweet, and we can get away with being sincere and sweet if we're also really dirty. <laughs> from my favorite show, Big Mouth. We got Nick Kroll and we got Jesse Klein. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. Thank you for being here with me. Hey. And look who it is. Oh. Time. Look who it is, oh. it's Jason Mansuke. How we doing, Comic-Con? Father to come. With You're his raincoat on. I'm sorry, I just ran in. Jason, <laughs> let's get right into the idea. Jason, do you like fall? I'm cosplaying <laughs> as a New England L.L. Bean person. <laughs> Um, so we were just starting the interview off. We are talking about this amazing Planned Parenthood ep uh, episode. How has the feedback been um, since you have started that, that episode, since season two? How has the feedback been? Uh, I would say, you know, very nice. The, the feedback across the board for seasons one and two and, and our Valentine's Day special, uh, we've been incredibly lucky that people have responded the way we wanted to it. Um, I think the Planned Parenthood episode, that's, we got a, a nominated for an Emmy for that episode, so. Yeah, you did. Uh, I've heard of that. Yeah, you did. And I think we can all agree, nothing's more important than uh, things like the Emmys. Young people care so much about that kind totally of thing. Agree. <laughs> this audience, every single one of you is glued to those Emmys, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, it was great. Uh, we're, and, uh. In general, you know, for we were scared because it's a very it's an episode about a, a controversial topic for some, which is Planned Parenthood. Um, but we seem to have people, uh, the people who lo really liked it, seem to have really liked it. And the people who didn't uh, seem to not care at all. So great, that That's was fine. Pretty with us. much the best you can hope for yeah, in 2019. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Um, we saw some incredible character arcs last season. In particular, I love Jesse's. Um, where are we going to see our characters go this next season? Um, Jesse's gonna go on a little masturbation journey. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. Yes. That is <laughs> the journey, Which not is, the destination. Yeah. That's it's what, actually with masturbation, it's the destination. Yeah. That's what Comic Con is all about. <laughs> yeah. Masturbation journeys, yeah. right? Getting to the end. Uh, by the way, if you go to the bathrooms here at Comic Con, I believe they're all wrapped with uh, hormone monsters and the kids. So. If you want to pee in a urinal, you can pee on Maury or Rick. Uh, you can pee on his face. You can pee on my face is basically what I'm saying. Yeah, this season is a lot about being piss freaks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's see, the other, uh, your, uh, Jay, really, it's about his journey. To Jay, there's a lot of family stuff for Jay this, this year that's pretty harrowing. Yeah. And a lot more of discovering Jay's own uh, bisexuality. Yeah, some might call yeah. Jay. Uh, yeah, it's a, Jay is a bi-con for yes. some. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, that, uh, yes, some, somebody wrote an article about Jay, Jay being the bi-con that we have, not the one we need. Yeah. <laughs> or no, the opposite, that, that we need, not the one we... I care, man, yeah. but it was great. <laughs> um, but we, but so we've got uh, a lot of different stories. Nick is uh, obsessed with his phone. Uh, I don't know if uh, anybody in the audience looking at me directly through their screen currently would identify with that, but... Um, <laughs> And also, uh, you know, yeah, we, we, we sort of try to cover a lot more. This season's really a lot more about what it's like to be a kid right now versus the first couple seasons were kind of a, a nostalgic look back at, at, our, uh, at me and Andrew's life and other kids' lives growing up. Amazing. Will we get to see any new characters? I loved the Shame Wizard last yes. season. Yes. Um, yeah, we've got some great guest stars. Uh, Ali Wong is on the show. She plays a, a girl who's uh, pansexual, comes to the school. Uh, Wanda Sykes, of course, plays the ghost of Harriet Tubman. Of course. Because uh, uh, we do an episode about Duke Ellington uh, going through puberty, and, and, and Harriet Tubman is the ghost that haunts his house. Um, uh, Tandy Newton uh, is Missy's hormone monstrous. Uh, and we got a bunch of other really, really fun guest stars as well. Man, Missy, she's a real treat. I love that character so much. She's the best. She, okay. Um, we don't have a ton of time left. In fact, I'm at zero, but I still have to ask you guys. This show is, it's so funny. We love it so much, but something that really strikes me about it is how compassionate it stays. And I just would love to know, how do you guys 
find that line where you're still pushing boundaries comedically while staying empathetic to people's experiences? You got anything? I can answer that real quick. I mean... Uh, uh, I would just say that what we found that the dirtier we are, um, we can get away with being really dirty if we're also really sort of sincere and sweet, and we can get away with being sincere and sweet if we're also really dirty. And so... Just like in life. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I mean, coming... F like, for me, it's very easy to not just make the dirty Jay jokes, but also tap into the deep melancholy of Jay. Like, these are the elements of my childhood that are the elements of my life that I feel like tapping into either of them works. You know, like, it's they are the same. And I just want to say tenderly that I love both of these people. Aww. And I'm really excited Bloody to go hun. to the bathroom and have them both fist me. Yes. <laughs> so tender. The, ra the, the, the big mouth wrapped bathrooms. Yes, exactly. That are just jack shacks with our faces on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Jack oh. shacks. Comic -Con. Comic -Con. Masturbation right. is the destination. Masturbation yes. is the destination. You have arrived. Masturbation yeah. station. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I Thank truly you. wish I had more time with you.